five alternate tunings for baritone guitar. Chances are, when you got your baritone guitar, it was tuned to what I call baritone standard. That is B, E, A, D, F sharp, and B. This is a great tuning because it sits halfway between guitar and bass, and it allows you to use the same chord shapes that you know and love with a standard tuned guitar. Uh, yes. So, let's check out some alternate tunings to expand our tonal palette. First up is drop A, and it's simply taking that sixth string, the B string, dropping it down to an A, and it's kind of like a drop D tuning, and again, in standard guitar. It, you can do some really nice things with it. And of course, it's great for heavier styles of music where you may want to do that power chord thing. I don't have any distortion dialed up here, but you, you guys know what I mean, right? So you can get down in the dungeon really easily with the drop A tuning. Second up is what I call double drop A, and it's kind of similar to that double drop D on standard guitar. We've got the drop A that we just talked about. But if we drop the first string down to A, then we get this. Yeah, if you want to play Neil Young on the baritone, you could do it with double drop A. But you can also do other things. It's really great for kind of modal sounding chords. Yeah, pretty nice. The thing to watch out for though with this tuning is that now the first and second string are not in a perfect fourth interval. They're in a minor third interval, interval, sorry. So if you're playing leads, yeah. It takes a little bit to get used to that closer interval, interval, I can't say that word today, when you're playing lead. So do be aware of that. But in the middle of the guitar, it's still the same. All right, third on my list is A-E-A-D-E-A which is the baritone version of Dadgad. Okay, you're probably familiar with Dadgad in terms of Celtic guitar music and things like that. Well, you can play some really nice things if you tune the baritone guitar in a relative pitch to that tuning. Here's what it sounds like. Number four on the list is one of my favorites for both baritone and standard guitar. On baritone, it is, and I'm going to read it off so I don't mess it up, it is G-D-A-D-E-A. -A. Okay, and uh, on standard guitar, that would be C-G-D-G-A-D. -G -G so it's like dadgad with strings five and six tuned down another whole tone. So in baritone land, 
you're getting down very close into bass territory with your sixth string. Okay, that's uh, low G, right? And um, standard bass is um, just a minor third below at a low E. And there are some beautiful chord structures that you can get with this tuning. Definitely want to check that one out. And finally, the last tuning in this video is another form of baritone standard, and I'm going to read this off again so I don't screw it up. A, D, G, C, E, A. And this is simply a whole step lower than the first tuning we started off with, B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. And it's just really nice if you need to get a little bit lower. It sounds the same. Um, interval-wise as that, that original standard baritone tuning. So a couple of things to watch out for as you tune down from that original baritone standard tuning. One is the scale length. Uh, this guitar is a 27.7 inch scale length. Many baritone guitars are a little bit shorter at 27 inches. Some are longer up to 29, even 30 inches. And so as you tune down, the strings get floppier and floppier, so you need to watch that. You may have even heard some kind of dicey tuning going on when I was playing, and that's mostly from the reduced string tension. So if you're gonna play in alternate tunings that are dropped a lot, you may wanna consider a little bit heavier of a string than the standard baritone string, so keep that in mind. The other thing to watch, again, is intervals. So I'm still in just that St baritone standard, right? And all the intervals in the strings are very familiar to my fingers. But when I'm playing in one of these other altered tunings, the intervals are a lot different. And I've got to be a little bit more careful about chord voicings, and in particular for me, playing leads, because the intervals between the strings can really mess me up. Of course, sometimes when I mess up, it sounds cool because the intervals are different, right? But just be aware of that. Well, there you have it, my top five altered tunings for baritone guitar. I hope that uh, they provide inspiration and ideas for your baritone guitar playing. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Chords of Orion. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming each and every week. And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.